Hello you all, this is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Cremissimo Stracciatella ice cream with 70% of cocoa in the chocolate pieces. Let us take a look around the box first. Twist and turn this thing around, looks alright. QR code right there, I'm not going to scan this right now. And now let's uh, right away take a look at the back of the packaging and um, Pause if you want to read the nutrition table right there and pause if you want to read whoops, the ingredients list right there and all the other fancy stuff that is written on here. So what do we have? We've got the vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce 15% and dark chocolate pieces 6.5% with cocoa mess from Ecuador. Sounds good so far. Let's see what it uh, looks like. On the inside packaging right here I mean it says 100% recyclable I think it always was right maybe not the, the top lid because that looked different maybe that's a bit harder with all that empty stuff in there but the rest was always see-through so um, yeah great for greenwashing I guess and the ice cream itself with those chocolate pieces on there that looks fine yeah, it looks really good, smell-wise. Yeah, the scent is very decent as well. It smells of darker chocolate. You do not really smell too much uh, ice cream, though, in any way. No, it very much smells of um, quite delicious darker chocolate. I am surprised by that, because these Cremissimo ice creams are not necessarily the highest quality items when you uh, taste them, usually. But this right here, just right off the bat, smells really good. Let's take a knife right here, because I'm not going to eat the entire thing just now. And um, take out a little bit of that stuff. Oh. Yep. Okay, here we take our little Chinese bowl. And we take out that ice cream piece. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I'm going to put the rest of this into the freezer when I figure out where to put the knife <laughs> and I'll be back with you in uh, just a second. Okay, I'm back at the desk. I hope this hasn't melted too much up until now. Let's uh, set aside the knife. Does it smell any different out here? No, scent-wise there is still that um, very distinct darker chocolate fla flavor? Scent, I should say. So, um, while we're talking about the chocolate, let's take one of these little, like, chocolate raspeln. Uh, the word is on screen right now, I guess, and uh, give them a, a little bit of a taste test. Yeah, flavor-wise, they taste very much like, um, not re not really chocolate you would buy it just like that. It's, they, they taste a bit like dark chocolate curvature. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's It's fine. That's... What I'm gonna say about that. Let's take a look at the chocolate sauce right there. Looks alright. Let's see what it tastes of. This uh, tastes like a very familiar Cremissimo chocolate sauce, yeah. Quite a bit of sweetness on that, a bit of a chocolatey flavour. Not a great chocolatey flavour, but fine overall. Okay. Let's take a look at the ice cream mass right here itself. Looks alright. Flavour wise it is nice and sweet. It tastes just like a, like a milk ice cream with a bit of a mild vanilla flavor. Yeah. Nothing special about it, very standard indeed. And this is one of the, I think one of the most popular flavors over here in Germany. Um, Stracciatella in general is uh, one of my favorites when it's done right. And this one right here is, is yeah, usually okay. Creaminess wise, seems to be fine as well. Of course, these uh, Cremissimo ice creams are not as dense as, as many of the others, like, for example, American-style ice creams like Ben & Jerry's or Hagen Dazs. This stuff right here is a lot more airy, and uh, yeah, because you have a lot less of that um, actual ice cream mass, usually they are quite a bit cheaper per volume, which is fine, I guess. Flavor-wise, when you go for a bit of a scraping of that um, base ice cream, do have a decent texture of these little chocolate pieces in the in the center there. Tastes alright. Um, yeah, all I can say is that this is, if you know Sarchatella ice cream, like pre-made stuff that's not like the 
most expensive premium brand, then um, yeah, you really know what you are, what I'm talking about here when I say this is a pretty standard Stracia della ice cream. Um, nothing really special to report. Of course, flavor-wise, it is a bit, you know, boring, but um, it's it's all right. Overall, it it really is all right so far. Something that is good now, up until now is that I don't have this um, particular this this very distinct cremissimo aftertaste because many of these like airy ice creams have a certain aftertaste to them uh, where you do taste a similar you know taste like in carbonated water in that aftertaste. Uh, this one right here, as of right now, doesn't have it. Maybe it does have it in um, a couple more spoonfuls, but as of right now, everything seems good. Yeah, especially if it doesn't melt it, parts down at the bottom. Really do feel that air in there. It's okay though. All right, maybe we can take a closer look at one of these like chocolatey swirls down there. Um, yeah, it's just that chocolate sauce that it's there on the top as well, I think. But um, it's all for a spoonful like this. Yeah, it's that that flavor that we did expect. Although there is. Not necessarily really sour, but a weird sort of acidic flavor in there as well. What, what, where did that come from? That's weird. Yeah, there it was again. Um, that's interesting. Maybe it's the mix of, of that chocolate sauce and melting ice cream foam. <laughs> uh, not really wanna, what you want to hear, I guess. Now there is a bit of a weird aftertaste here, very unexpected one, not not pleasant I have to say. It reminds me a bit of that, that flavor, do you know when you when you go to the dentist and you have like some sort of, not filling but a sealing going on? And sometimes they do have these like fillings or whatever in, in flavors and there is a banana flavor I think and this right here reminds me of that very like fake banana synthetic flavor. That's really weird. Uh, I did not expect that I would describe this to a dentist's filling in any way, but um, here we are. No, that, that's, that's really unfortunate. I, did, I didn't see that coming. Um, that's a bit unfortunate, actually. Yeah, there's a weird sort of synthetic, not sour, but slightly, like oddly acidic, tasting it, it seems to be wanting to be a bit acidic but it's it's not it's sweet and kind of synthetic uh, it's really weird i guess it's just that maybe just a a, a fake chocolate flavor that can a synthetic cheap one that um is doing weird things here but um yeah that's unfortunate didn't see that coming now everything is Good, apart from that. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna finish off this now and uh, I'll see you in uh, just a second with the review sheet. The consumption process is complete and we are ready to rate this with the review sheet. First impression wise, I don't have anything to complain about. It uh, looked good overall and that scent of these uh, grated chocolate uh, pieces on the very top, that was very decent indeed. Uh, smelled like yeah, a decent darker chocolate. Um, I didn't expect that at all, and that was something that uh, was a decent surprise for me. Uh, Color-wise, uh, same story here, nothing to complain about. Uh, the like, ice cream looked as it should, the chocolate looked as it should, and that chocolate sauce looked good as well. Uh, therefore, one out of one available point. Consistency and texture-wise, I have to say that the uh, individual, like grated chocolate uh, pieces on the very top, those were good. And the ice cream itself was okay as well, but um, it wasn't quite as creamy as you want a, a stracciatella ice cream to be. It, it's just that regular uh, cremissimo, like almost aerated ice cream that you've got here. Uh, nothing special about it at all, and therefore only one out of two available points. Flavor-wise, uh, I can say that the like darker chocolate pieces, those tasted good, and the ice cream base itself tasted all right as well. We didn't have that uh, artificial aftertaste of uh, you know, many of these styles of um, ice creams uh, in this particular one. But what we did have was um, a flavor with that chocolate sauce down uh, 
in the ice cream itself that really didn't belong here. When there is a component in the ice cream that reminds you um, of the dentist's office in any way, then uh, you might have the wrong ice cream in front of you. And uh, this is, was very much an experience that I had uh, today. I have never tasted this particular synthetic flavor before and I uh, hope that I uh, will not do that uh, again with ice cream because it was not great at all. Um, it, it ruined that decent flavor of the chocolate, these these actual great chocolate pieces on the top of the ice cream and it also ruined the, the rest of that ice cream base which was actually passable for cremissimo ice cream, it was all right. It's just that, that chocolate sauce down down in the in the base of the ice cream that was tasting really weird. Not necessarily when it's cold but there's always something with, with cremissimo ice cream when it melts, that, that foamy melted ice cream mess that's just really weird tasting and this time around it was weird in a way that is just awful and that is unfortunate because the rest of this stuff was okay themalization wise therefore half out of one available point because yeah it, it was kind of okay but when you've got ice cream that is melting then usually the ice cream that is melted should taste good as well and in this case it, it just tastes awful with that weird flavor in that. It, it ruins the rest of the entire ice cream. Therefore, in total, we have 5.5 out of 10 available points for this particular Cremissimo ice cream. And I think this is going to be it for this particular video. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope we're going to see you soon. Until then, bye bye.